is to address the question as to what type of crochet thread or yarn that I used on my recent crocheted lace pieces. So this is just to give anybody a general idea, especially the ones that are just learning to crochet or wanting to crochet on the advantage and disadvantage of certain crochet thread or yarn. For one thing, the reason I use the number three thread, such as this, this is from Bali Yarns, and the size is three, and the second number indicates how many plies there are. So if we examine the 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 ply refers to how many strand of yarn is twisted together. So there are two two twisted two yarns twisted together on this. That's what the second number refers to. And the first number, the first number is the size, the size of the crochet thread. So these are and crochet threads and this is from Thread Art and it's also a size uh, three. And another one from and Lydia, also a size three. And for this size of thread, crochet thread, I am using a steel hook that is 3.25 millimeter. And for me, this works well. And then there is a finer uh, size of crochet thread, which produces a more delicate lace, such as this one. And this is made up of a size 10 thread. <clears throat> size 10 thread, usually uh, what is used in those antique laces that you find in antique crocheted lace. So the pattern is suited for making this size 10 thread. I have this one, but I lost the label, but this is a size 10 thread. The disadvantage of uh, the size 10 thread is that it takes a long time for me to make one piece, let us compare. So this is made up of the same pattern that I use for my poncetia and berries. This is a size three crochet thread and I use 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. And this one, is made up of size 10 crochet thread from Aunt Lydia or Coates and Clark. But as you can see the difference in size, so this will take me about the same amount of time to make this piece. So you see the difference in size. This take me the same amount of time to make this as I have made this. So, so to make to make it as big as this, I have to probably double or triple the time it took for me to get to this size to make this. So that is the main 
uh, difference between a very small size thread and a bigger size crochet thread. I am kind of short on patience, so that's the reason I'm using um, size 3 thread because it, I can make things a lot quicker. But this is very appropriate for making lace border for pillowcases or pieces that are need to be used for delicate uh, fabric such as clothing because it's light. Well, this one is kind of heavy. The size number three thread is heavy. And this is suited for tablecloths, placemats, or doilies. Then I will discuss the difference between um, size three uh, crochet thread and size three yarn. Because you can also produce uh, yarn or lace pieces out of yarn. For one thing, crochet thread uh, does not split while you work on it, while a yarn does. So that's the main difference. So if you're a beginner, it's, you're probably better off um, using a size 3 crochet thread because you don't have to deal with that splitting problem, which kind of discourages most beginners that are just learning to crochet. Um, there are some threads also that uh, I find out that also splits, but these uh, valley yarns are good for not splitting, and these, they are very tightly worn, so they would not split a lot. I have not known it to split as I work on them. So I will highly recommend this for those who are wanting to make a crocheted lace. And this one, the finer one, the size 10, uh, my eyesight is uh, not so good now, and that's the reason I try to avoid uh, making projects made out of this because of my eyesight. Otherwise, uh, uh, this is very well for delicate projects. But again, uh, because of the tiny, tiny thread, it's kind of awkward to work with for a beginner. So I would not suggest this size of thread for a beginner. And so you see the how the thread uh, compares. This is size 3 thread and this is thin, size thin. So it's very, very fine. Size thin is very fine. The needle or crochet hook that I used for size thin thread is 1.65 steel crochet hook. One point sixty five millimeter. So now let's go to uh, the yarn. You can make uh, crocheted pieces made out of yarn also, and this is cotton. The reason I'm using cotton is because of my allergies. I used to work with acrylic because acrylic is the most available yarn and it's cheaper than most yarn but again because of my allergies to acrylic i try to avoid that and so this is a crocheted lace out of 
cotton yarn. Yarn B and it's a cotton, 100% cotton. And the difference of the cotton yarn or any yarn is that they tend to split as you work on them. So <clears throat> splitting means that as you work, see it's already split, especially if you're working a little bit of a pioneer hook, it will split. So the best way is to make sure to find the right size of hook appropriate for the size of yarn. So this size three yarn, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter steel crochet hook and it is smooth. It's a smoother to work with than, than the, the thread. The thread has a little bit of resistance. But then the like the problem I told you about is that it, on how it it tend to split. If you don't pay attention to every stitch you make, the yarn could split. So far so good. It has not done any kind of splitting. But it's easy to put the hook where thread or yarn is the fiber is separated. So I'm just making a, an example of it. And what splitting means is like that. You unintentionally inserted the hook on the middle of the ply. So you have a yarn there that's, that's loose. And if you're a beginner, try to avoid this mistake. If you catch this, Make sure that you unravel and do this over. So I'll do it over, catching the whole fiber there, the whole twist. Uh, the reason is it makes the work untidy and also it weakens the, the stitch so that it will rub off and will get broken and then you have a piece that's going to be damaged quickly. So that is the disadvantage of yarn because it tends to split. And if you're going to use it, just be aware of that problem. So this, this piece that I'm working on right now is It's made out of size 3 uh, yarn and, and the reason yarn is more suitable for clothing is that it is soft and smooth against your skin as opposed to a thread that tend to be tend to be rough. It has the fiber itself will have a give or stretch compared to crochet thread. So that's another advantage. So depending on what project you're making, if you're making a clothing, then yarn is better. This is my introduction for the size three cotton thread and yarn that I have used on my recent lace pieces. So that it, that's it friends and I hope this video helps you a little bit about deciding what crochet, thread or yarn to use. Thank you all for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel to watch more of my crochet videos. So I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.
Thank you.